Swiss Beats and Timberland sue Thriller for $28 million over a Versus deal. As we all know, Timberland and the Swiss Beats, they started the Versus during the quarantine, which was supposed to help people get through the whole being locked down and in their house and being able to see their favorite entertainers. Um, meanwhile, trying to forget about the threat of COVID, right? So what happened was Timberland and Swiss Beats, they ended up selling it to Thriller. So Thriller was supposed to pay them, I believe, on the second anniversary. And I believe to this day right now, no money has come through. And Swiss Beats and Timberlands has filed a $28 million lawsuit against social media app Thriller, alleging that the company has missed numerous payments to the two producers since Thriller acquired their rap battle show versus last year. In the suit filed in Los Angeles Superior Court on Tuesday, Swiss and Timberland, whose real names are Kasim Dean and Tim- Timothy Mosley, alleged that they've been trying to get a remainder of their earnings from the sale since the beginning of the 2022. With the Versus acquisition, Thriller unequivocally and unconditionally guaranteed Mosley and Dean the payment and performance of Thriller holds obligations under the agreement and related agreements. At the time of the purchase, neither Dean and Mosley nor Thriller disclosed how much the acquisition was worth. It isn't clear how much Thriller has already paid the two founders, but as we know right now, there has been no more further payments. At this point, we understand that, okay, well, how Versus looked on Instagram is not how Versus turned out to be. Because at first, Versus was a thing where it was free. You could watch it off your social media. You could stay home. You're inside your house. You were safe. Then as outside started to open up, we noticed that people literally started falling off of verses. But I don't think they were falling off of verses. I think it was more of like, yo, outside's open. It was something that was made for quarantine. And I personally feel that it got blown out of proportion in the sense of I think Swiss Beats and Timberland got ahead of themselves without realizing that this is something that they should have kept to themselves. And by them selling it to Thriller, I feel like it kind of got watered down and people just weren't feeling the vibe no more. You know what I'm saying? Because really think about it. What is Thriller? We don't know what Thriller is. At first, Thriller was like a a boxing thing. It was like a celebrity boxing match event space. So the fact that they acquired it, I'm wondering if they were acquiring it off of a money grab because even if you read like more in depth into the contract and how it was set up. It was more of a thing of they they wanted to acquire a hundred million dollars and give them nineteen million. So I don't know if they were supposed to like make that money first within the two years. That's why the payments were going to be made for two years, and then they're supposed to be getting the payments. But if they weren't making that type of money, how are they supposed to pay you for what the contract says? See. Now, this is why it becomes a legal matter, because it's one of those things where you're expecting a payment, but everything didn't go the way how it's supposed to be. So I guess the the whole thing is they want to settle. They want to settle and try to figure out how much money they should be entitled to if it didn't make as much money as it's supposed to be. Because they started selling tickets. This wasn't supposed to be something that was being sold. This was something that they were supposed to go out probably and get like sponsors, people that were able to pay for advertising, all sorts of stuff like that. So at the same time, it's just one of those things where it makes you wonder, like, who was trying to capitalize off of this? Was this something that Swiss Beats and Timberland were going to try to make us pay for in the long run? Or was this something that Thriller, because they said that now you got to pay for it, people fell off of it? So I guess the authenticity and the integrity of the show kind of got watered down. But at the same time, we're talking about money, we're talking about payments. And in the end, I'm still trying to wonder if the artists got paid, what's their agreement? Are we going to see more contracts popping up? We will do the digging and we will find out more, whatever comes to light, we'll let you guys know. And if it's something worthy of speaking of, we'll definitely put it on the air. Follow us at Front Page Fades on Instagram, Facebook. Um, Hit us up at www.frontpagefades.com And thanks for listening